So, example number 63, determine the root mean value. You've been told to determine the root mean value of the function of the voltage function V is equals to 50 sine 10T volts in the interval t is equals to zero to t is equals to pi isn't it are we together you've been told to determine the root mean square value of v is equals to 50 sine 10t volts from t is equals to zero to t is equals to pi correct two decimal places so how do we get the root mean square value isn't it you start with the mean value isn't it are we together so when you are looking for the root mean square value, you start with the mean value, which is 1 over b minus a, then you are integrating from a to b of f of x dx, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Then when it is now mean square, you square f of x, isn't it? Yeah. Then root mean square, you find the square root of everything. Are we together? Good. So it means this is how to look for the root mean square. Then you now ask yourself, you are your function of x, here is b's function of t, meaning instead of x in this problem, we have t. we have t, because b is a function of t, meaning b is in terms of t, isn't it? Yes. So instead of f of x d, dx, we have f of t dt, isn't it? Yes. Are we together? Yes. Now from there, you now start by getting what is f of t? It's the v, v is the f of t, isn't it? Yes. So f of t is equal to what? V is equals to f of t, which is equals to 50? Sine eternity, isn't it? But what do we want? We want f of t? We want f of t squared, isn't it? So we square 50 sine 20. We get, when you square 50, you get 2,500. When you square times sine 20, you get sine squared 10. Isn't it? See, this one, why is f of t squared is this? But you see, you are going to integrate f of t squared. You cannot integrate a sine which is squared, isn't it? Are we together? See, you go to the concept, when it is squared, you use the, the double angle, isn't it? You use the double. So, what does the, the double angle here comes? The double angle of the cosine, isn't it? When you have cos, when you have cos, when you have cos 2 theta, cos 2 theta is? is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, isn't it? Mm. But using Pythagorean identity, is cos squared theta is 1 minus sine squared theta. Yes. Meaning this one is the same as 1 minus 2 sine, isn't it? Yes. Good. Having done that, this side we have cos 2 theta. So having done that, you now come, you bring 2 sine squared theta this side, isn't it? Mm. Are we together? So you get, 2 sine squared theta is equals to 1 minus cos cos 2 theta. When you take cos 2 theta the other side, you bring this this side, isn't it? Then for you to get sine squared theta, you divide everything by, by 2. So you get sine squared theta is a half minus a half cos cos 2 theta, isn't it? But do we have sine squared theta? We have sine squared theta t, meaning this theta is 10. Are we together? When we want sine squared 10 t, it means where there is theta, because it is supposed to be sine squared 10 t, where there is theta, we put 10. 10 t. So we are going to have a half minus a half cos, 2 times 10 t, you get 20. 20. Isn't it? Are we together? So this is sine squared 10 t, but what do we have inside? We have 2500 times sine squared 10 t, isn't it? So we multiply both sides of the equation by 2500. Are we together? So 2,500 sine squared 10 t is equal to what? Is equal to 2,500 into a half minus a half cos 20 t, which you end up with this one times a half, you get 1,250 minus 1,250 cos 20 t. So you have transformed you have found that this 2,500 times square 20 is the same as 1,250 minus 1,250 cos 20t. Is that okay? Yes. Good. Now having done that, the next thing we do is to substitute, isn't it? Yes. 
We substitute in that in the formula, isn't it? So can you substitute that in the formula? Substitute. So in the formula, the root mean value square root. We have the square root. Then inside we have 1 over b minus a. What is b? It is starting from a is 0, isn't it? And it is ending at b is 5. So our b is 5, a is 0. So it is b minus a, pi minus 0. You remain with? Isn't it? Then you are integrating from a, which is 0, to b, which is? Then f of t squared, which you found to be? 1250 minus? 1250 equals 20 Isn't it? Are we together? Now can you start integrating? Remember we have square root outside, isn't it? So 1 over pi is there, then move If you integrate 1250 with respect to t Remember you already t is there, isn't it? If you differentiate 1250 If you integrate 1250 So you get 1250 t yes. And if you integrate this you get negative 1250. If you integrate cos, you get positive sin, isn't it? Meaning we get sin 20 t, then we divide by the derivative of the inner function. The inner function is 20 t. The derivative of that constant is? Isn't it? So after integrating, we put the limits. What is the limit? From 0 to? Are we together? From 0 to? To pi. So can you give me the values in the calculator? Give me the values inside here. Remember when you are substituting pi, when you are substituting pi, the calculator must be in R, pi radians. Are we together? Yes. You don't use B in the calculator, pi radians. So change the calculator to R for pi radians. Then give me upper limit minus lower limit. So you simply put square root of 1 over pi in bracket 1250 answer. You say your answer is T. So you say you start with pi is equal to pi, isn't it? Are we together? <laughs> yes, 1 over pi, then in bracket, 1250 answer minus 1250 sine 20 answer divided by 20, isn't it? Are we together? Sine 20 answer, because it is 20, 20 answer, isn't it? Close. Then over 20. Yes, what do you have to be the answer? You started with pi. Calculate is in R. It is, it is uh, coming out to be an error. So one thing you need to know is this. You can do it step by sine. What is sine pi? See, this is zero. That is an oscillating angle. Whether it is sine pi, sine 2 pi, sine 3 pi, see pi is zero. It is zero. Isn't it? Yes. So I don't know how you are working out with that. Meaning the whole of this part is going to be zero because sine pi or multiples of pi is zero. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Meaning the whole of this is zero. So you simply have 1250 pi and pi will cancel with this pi which is outside. You see? So it means the whole of this problem you remain with the square root of 1250. If you are someone who can observe. You just observe and look here. When you say substitute pi here, multiples of pi sine that is zero. The whole of this is zero. You remain with 1250 pi. If you divide by this pi, you remain with square root of 1250. If you substitute zero, this is zero, sine zero is zero. The whole of it will be zero. Are you seeing that? Mm -hmm. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes. So it means your square root of 1250. You get the answer to be? 25? Yes. You are told into two decimal places. 35.36 35 point 36. 36. Have you seen the way I've substituted that pi? Yeah. Here goes to zero. Pi comes here, comes with this, you remain with this. When you put zero, the whole of it is zero. So you made the square root of 12, 50. You get 35.36 in two decimal yes. places.